very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. So with Bosch on the bench, here's a five for Jason Kidwright. They've got Horford. T Wade out there at Bryant. Then there's Griffin, and it's Leonard in at the three, the small four. McCollum, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it is when the physical brand of basketball has had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. And you know, the mid-range, Jay, continuing to look better over time for LeVert. Showing real improvement in knocking that shot down. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Well, loose. Kobe with the steal. Little over not gone here in the second half. to finish the way. Kobe's got now. I like how Bryant takes contact on the way up. This guy is very good at feeling out the defense and, and absorbing that contact and still capitalizing. Levert the pass to McCullough. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. And it's 13 points for C.J. McCullough. And he found the perfect spot behind Side the arc there. A big gap in the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time. And Bryant gets to Leonard. Back to Kobe. Last passing here by Los Angeles. All alone. Again, Los Angeles. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. And the Cavaliers call time here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. <laughs> some changes here for the Warriors. Chris Bosch has checked in for Griffin. And it's Clay Thompson in for Bryant. We're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Pass to Red. For the three. And it's Wade with the rebound. Los Angeles leading by 15. Thompson from long range. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it. But it just has not been there for him tonight. You might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. You know, I think the passing skills of LeBron are his greatest asset, and he's got some great ones in addition to that. But his passing is other world. When you get open, he gets it to you with exactly the right speed and pace so you can handle it. The kick out to Bosch. Wade from outside hits the three-point bomb. Wade's got six points. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flame. He doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas. Pedal. At the elbow. And it was Leonard from three. Levert grabs the mess. Cleveland trails by 16. You know, I think of Karis Levert as one of those guys capable of going off on any given night for big numbers. He has that kind of explosive ability offensively. That one goes in. That's now eight points for Wade. Team first player. When Thompson notices one of his guys is uncovered, he is willing to get it to him. Pass to James. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And that explosiveness of the ball. We've seen on the last when he gets hot and becomes unstoppable. Greg, how about that game in 2020 when he went for 37 points in the fourth quarter and overtime alone? Levert's a player that doesn't know the meaning of the phrase heat check. He can give it to you, boy. Wade surveying the D. Count that one. 
Reed's got seven now in this quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. That's the 3-5. Voss grabs the miss. She's got six rebounds here tonight. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard. Best part. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this week. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Near the three-point line, it's red. That shot is off. So Los Angeles will turn it the other way. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Thompson from long range. Cavaliers with the rebound. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Here's McCollum. Here's LeBert. And it's sent back by Bosch. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. coming up and they'll call the shooting foul at the line when LeBron has it inside like that I mean it's almost impossible to stop him. worst case scenario he's going to get himself to the foul line and the second free throw good and so it's Los Angeles on with a 23 point lead heading into the break they have made it very tough to get a shot off against them their defense has been stifling we'll return shortly and it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Hey, that was a high level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. On the court for Cleveland, Burke is out there with McCollum, and it's LeBron James. Then there's Larry Nance, and it's Martin in at the small four. Let's it go with a three. That one falls coming off Burke's feet. Six points for Martin. And even if Martin goes through ups and downs in, in other parts of the game, you know, they can still depend on his three-point shooting. I mean, he tends to be very consistent from long range. Basically, been all him. I mean, he scored most of the points himself. And the Cavaliers call time here. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back on the court. Warriors on D. Nance finds Martin. Oh, Nance in position. Martin against LeBron. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Thompson surveying the floor. And there's the drive. Larry Nance comes up with the rebound. Nance has got four rebounds in this game. James in the post. Wade is covering. James misses. One item that stood out. Their ball move. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. He's so good at creating his own shot. He's just got an endless supply of moves. LeBron James. And so it's Burke who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Pass to Nance. Over Robinson. The Cavaliers again can hit. Thompson with it. He's picked up by James. And LeBron throws it down. James throwing it down with that power dunk. You know, the defense can't allow him to get what he wants inside because that's easy pickings for LeBron. McCollum against Wade. Here's James. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Bosch has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. And the shot goes down. 
Jones, yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's LeBron. Sometimes I think we take watching LeBron James for granted. I mean, no player in league history has been the best in the league for well over a decade. Extended greatness from the King in terms of championship finals appearances and any other measurable you want to use. And Thompson throws it down. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Kicks it to James. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Robinson with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Robinson. And stolen by LeBron. Thompson. Here's James. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, the defense has to be careful with the foul. I mean, he's a clever shooter. He knows how to draw fouls. He uses his body really well. Right. Brown is checking for him. the second from the line. 143 left here in the fourth quarter. Thompson against Brown. Brown the pass to Brown. Rocket six. Pulls it from the elbow. And Thompson sends it back. LeBron against Brown. Yes, that goes in. And now that's 35 points for LeBron. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle steps for Los Angeles? Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. Thompson from long range. Comes up empty, 7 for 15 with that miss. Brown outside. Overweight. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That free throw good from Brown. Larry Nance has checked in for Cleveland. And Brown drops them both. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 15-6 run. James outside. it up and punch it in. LeBron's got 37. LeBron is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 260 LBs and there's nothing next to it. So he can physically impose his will and flat out dominate uh, near the rim. And finished off by Brown. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. And it's just competing. I mean, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Off with the weight. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. A quarter down tonight. Dominic showing in front of the ball. And, uh, in there for a minute of it. and you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.